Hello everyone, welcome to the Monroe McLean Gymnasium at Quincy High School, where tonight the Quincy High School presidents will host the North Quincy Red Raiders. My name is Jonathan Caleri, and I'm being joined by Jim Timmons. And Jim, we're always in for a great game when these two teams match up. Yeah, you're right, John, and tonight the uh, second place for the ACL Boys North Division is at stake. Both teams are five and three in the league. Um, we'll cut away for the introductions. Guard, a senior, we'll be back with some more commentary Lewis, after this. At forward, a senior number 45, Matt O'Neill. Also co-captain, the man in the middle, a senior number 23, Marcellus Blue. At guard, also co-captain, a senior number five, Fort Newton. And at forward, a senior co-captain number three, Douglas Fenton. Head coach, Kevin Barrett. Everybody in. And now, for your Quincy presidents. And God, a senior number 15, Perry Sonato. At forward, a senior number 12, Marty Bowles. And God, a junior number 33, John Perry. The man in the middle, a senior co-captain, number 25, Kenny Francis. And at guard, a junior co-captain, number 11, Dougie Fresh Scott. Head coach, Bob Fisher. No reason to get in the way of that little pregame ritual. Presidents, as you can tell, are all fired up, John. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if we could all please rise for the singing of our national anthem. And singing tonight will be Ginny Conley. What a job on the national anthem a cappella there. We love the a cappella version. All right, real quick, we'll run down the starting lineups first for the visiting Red Raiders. Number three, Captain Dennis Martin. Number four, Alex Tregellis. Number five, Captain Fook Nguyen. Number 23, Marcelo Slee. Number 45, Captain Matt O'Neill. Four, the Quincy High School presidents. Number 15, Paris Amato. 
Number 11, Doug Scott, one of the captains. Number 12, Martin Bowes. Number 25, Kenny Francis, a captain. And number 33, John Perry. This game is going to be about who can take over. Is it going to be Marcellus Lee in the Red Raider inside game? Or is it going to be Doug Scott and the president's perimeter offense? That's going to tell the tale of the tape here, John. Uh, last year, President successfully controlled tempo and dictated the flow and won both games. We'll see what happens this year as the teams square off at Monroe McLean Gymnasium. Should be an interesting battle, John. North Quincy comes in with a three game winning streak. Quincy lost their last game in overtime against Marshfield right here at Monroe McLean, lost 71 70. Looks like the official is as excited as the ball player. <laughs> a little yeah. too high in the tip yeah. there. All right, North's going to control the ball. Dennis Martin with it. Over now to Fook New Yen. Drives right to the hoop and cannot get it to fall. Rebound there by Amato. Nice job in traffic by Amato. Both teams coming out man to man, John. This is just going to be a grind out here tonight. Doug Scott. Working against Tregellis, trying to find Kenny Francis, cannot. Perry's going to shoot the three, and it is no good. Fight for the rebound, ends up in the hands of Tregellis. Quickly up now to Dennis Martin. Behind the back pass from Marcellus Slee, he puts it in. Yeah, nice little drop Basketball down by Tregellis, or rather by uh, Martin. Caught Lee, and the Red Raiders break the ice. Motto, almost a bad pass, but Bose able to corral it back in. Tregellis working hard against Doug Scott for the Presidents. Over to Amato, eight on the shot clock, in the paint. Nice pass oh, off to Kenny Francis, but he can't down. convert. Nice drop down by Amato, off the penetration. Union down low, now to Marcel Slee. Yeah, yeah going to get a, be a foul call call there. Good call there by the official. Put his shoulder down and push forward a little. That's his first team's first. Yeah, that was a good call. Francis had good position. Francis is in the scorebook at 6-2, and I do not doubt that. I'd love to know what he weighs. He's got to be giving about 30 pounds away to Marcellus Lee. And Marcellus tried to duck all 30 of those pounds in his shoulder there into Francis. But Francis did a good job of holding his ground. Picked up the foul call. We know Marcellus Lee on the football field is a tight end for the team, running over people. And we're going to have a Scott. foul there on Doug Scott. Push off on Scott. Yeah, Doug's been a little frustrated the first few possessions. Alex Trigellis denying him all over the court. And Doug has not been able to get his hands on the ball. When he did there, he's a little frustrated. Pushed off to get the shot away and to get the, the call. So the two studs with offensive charges early on here. Jealous. Top of the key, goes past Perry, goes right into the lane, and we're gonna have a foul called on the floor. It will be called on Perry, trying to recover. Foul number 33, John Perry, his first to the second. So a foul did occur on the, on the floor, so no shots. Jealous looking for help, gets it over to Lee. Lee in the block, on nice the glass and in. Marcellus Lee with nice two points there, early four, four nothings, our score. Yeah, that's what Lee's got to do is establish himself down low, get the position. That was just a little bunny layup. But Scott working in and taken away by Fook Nguyen. Nguyen has some speed, goes up and gets fouled there by Paris Amato who went up to try to block that shot. Yeah, nice hustle by Amato. Nguyen jumped in and made sure he created the contact. Good job by Nguyen. So, third team foul already on Quincy. Nguyen, one of the senior tri captains, hits the first. And he hits them both, so it's quickly 6 nothing.
Scott working against nice crossover dribble and cannot get it to roll. Read by by Francis. He can't get it again. And Matt O'Neill was trying to save that ball there. Mm -hmm. Could not. Yeah, Martin tried to do a little too much there with that pass. Right, Andy Bozierkot's going to check in for Kenny Francis. New England was open, could not get the ball to him though. Nice defense by Mato on Dennis Martin. Martin a rolling jumper, no good. Bozierkot with the rebound. Nice box out there, and that's what the presidents are going to have to do. Scott shoots the three, and it's good. Yeah, you can't even give Doug Scott room to breathe there. It's like uh, the first game with Megan Tobin. We said the Red Raiders had to identify where she was and take it away. Nice Looks relief Perry. by Perry. Boy, she caught with a rebound in the outlet there to make that play happen. So nice job by the president. Six to five, North on top early. President's come with some pressure. Trigellis gets it over the timeline. And Scott working against Newingen. Newingen lost his dribble. O'Neill from the top of the key shoots it no good. Rebound by Lee. And that's good. He gets his own rebound back. And from behind there, knocking the ball away. Nice play by Martin Bowes. Yeah, great rebound by Marty Bowes. That time the Presidents did not box out. Nguyen steps in and takes the charge. Here's a little uh, early decision for Coach Fisher. That's Amato's second foul here. We're not even halfway through the first quarter. So, nice job by Amato. I was saying earlier in that last sequence, John, no boxing out by the Presidents. They've got to focus on boxing out Lee down low. Nguyen drives in. Off the glass, no good. Bowes with another rebound, and he's going to get fouled from behind by Newingen. Frustration foul there. Yeah, nice job by Marty Bowes. Marty is a real solid athlete. He's a soccer, basketball, lacrosse guy here at Quincy High. Very talented guy, and uh, Coach Fisher relying on him at the power forward position, even though he doesn't quite have the meat on the bones for that spot, but doing a good job rebounding and really working hard. Doug Scott, tough jumper. In and out, no good. Rebound by Tregellis. Nice pass down low by Nguyen. And Marcel Sleeve oh, finishes it off. Timeout. And Coach Bob Fish is going to call a timeout here. Does not like what his team's doing in the first, uh, first quarter here. Yeah, he's a little animated in the huddle. And I think the concerns are a couple of things. I'm sure they're things he emphasized. Get a box out, and you got to identify where Lee is and deny him the ball. That's what they want the boys to be doing. Well, thus far, Lee's got six of the eight Red Raider points. There you see an animated Coach Fisher. Normally, when you call the first time out, you're trying to calm your boys down, shot. But what Coach Fisher's talking about is he wants his boys to focus and do the things they talked about in the locker room. Yeah, Quincy doesn't really have anyone to stop Marcellus Lee down low. As you said, he's a big guy, tall guy, and we've seen early on six points all in the block. Well, that's why they're going to stick to fundamentals. We talked early on about the good boxing out. Well, that's gone away here, so I'm sure Andy Busikot was reminded that he's in there to put a body on Lee, and I'm sure we'll see him do it now. And Parry hands it off now to Scott. Scott fakes his shot, lost his dribble, gets off to Amato. Tregellis continuing with the exceptional pressure on Scott. Long rebound goes out to Nguyen. Eight to five, three minutes left to go in the first quarter. Here's another little factor. You see Scott covering Nguyen. Nguyen's the point guard, got the ball. Dougie's gonna be working hard all game and he's gonna be ready to do so. Martin with the three and he can shoot that shot, John. Martin has ter tremendous range. Very atypical for a high school ball player. Scott went to his left, drives in, and is going to pick up the foul, number 45, Matt O'Neill. That's his first. So Scott will go to the line for two. Yeah, that was a great crossover dribble by Scott. Great dribble penetration. And Douglas will go to the line here. 
I was saying um, down the other end there that um, the way Martin can shoot the ball, he's got tremendous range, and if he starts launching, he can get unwound and become a real factor here. Martin was the quarterback on the football team and a terrific athlete. All right, Jordan Thompson's going to check in for Matt O'Neill for North Quincy. Doug Scott, nice defense on Nguyen. Moving out of Thompson. Nguyen wide open, is going to shoot the three. No good. Rebound by Bowes. And he's going to be off North Quincy, so nice rebound there by Marty Bowes. Yeah, Marty, early on, the big guy on the boards for the Presidents. 11 to 7 is our score, North Quincy on top. Scott kicks it off now to Amato. Amato drives in, has an opening, puts it up, and no good. Fight for the rebound there, and we'll get a jump ball. Marcellus Lee had it, and Amato snuck in from behind to get the jump ball. Yeah, going to be the president's on the possession arrow, so they'll get an inbound under the hoop. Parry open for three, shoots it, and just a little short. These bows came flying from, I think he's going to get called for a foul. And they're going to call on Jordan Thompson, actually, of North Quincy. It's an interesting call. Looked like Thompson had position, Jim, but he'll get picked up his first foul. Thompson got bumped by Bozicott, uh, Bozicott, excuse me, in Bowes. Yeah, the way Marty came flying in from the wing. Parry a long three, no good. And fight for the ball goes into the hands of Marcellus Lee. Moving it over down to Trigellis. Down low to Jordan Thompson. And blocked there by Bowes, but Thompson gets the ball back and puts it in. Yeah, nice D by Bowes. He, normally you don't want to give up the baseline. He did there, but he protected well and uh, did not foul. So Another rebound by Marcellus Lee. Shot was no good by Doug Scott. Martin down low to Lee. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound by Boyacott. Doug Scott, one-on-one -on -one against Dennis Martin. Oh, spin move wow. in. And in. What a move by Scott. Great spin move on Martin. Martin, no stiff, a tremendous athlete, but tell you what, Scott just went to town there. That was a great move by Douglas. Nguyen, very smartly, because Scott's covering him. Nguyen just took the ball coast to coast. He missed the layup. But that was a nice decision by Nguyen. Come right back. Anthony right, 101 left to go in the first quarter. 13 to 9 is our score. That foul was on Andy Boisicott. Martin down low to Lee. Lee double teamed on the block. And traveling violations called on Lee. Could have been a travel or a charge, but the travel got called first. Yeah, Red Raiders got to get back on T now. Parry's all the way down the floor. Scott crossover dribble into the paint and nice lay in. Doug Scott with a finger roll. Two point lead for North Quincy. Doug's starting to get on track here. Tregellis has done a nice job most of the first quarter, but lost two possessions. Then the Doug Scott show. Amato comes away with the steal. Shot clock is off. Quincy looks like going to try to hold for the last shot of the quarter. Anthony Raddatz in the ball game for the Presidents. Amato with it, under 10 seconds to go. Over to Parry. Parry drives baseline, kicks it off for Boisicott, and he's going to draw the foul. Yeah, I think he's going to get the foul on Nguyen. Nice job by the Presidents. Alex Tregellis absolutely blanketed Scott. They couldn't get the ball to Dougie Scott. They adjusted. Nice decision by Amato to penetrate. And off the penetration, they end up with a foul shot. Was that on Nguyen, John? Uh, I'm not sure. I did not get who it was on. Okay. Tim Stilley checks in for North Quincy, and checking in for Quincy High School is Kenny Nguyen. Yeah, what uh, Coach Fisher's doing is getting Doug Scott just a little break, and this way he won't foul anyone. 
this last Dennis Martin seconds. takes a long shot at the end of the quarter, and it's no good. So at the end of the first quarter, 13 to 12, North Quincy on top. So a fast-paced half, excuse me, a fast-paced quarter, both teams running up and down the floor. Yeah, and as predicted, the guys we're looking at are Marcellus Lee, who had six of the Red Raiders' 13 points, and Dougie Scott, who had nine of the President's 12 points. Uh, for Scott, conditioning is going to be an issue. He's battling with uh, Alex Tregellis offensively, and Tregellis is doing a first-rate job. And then on the other end of the floor, he's drawn the point guard, Poop Nguyen, New York can really move, and he's got the ball a good deal of the time, so Scott's all action out there. We'll see how his conditioning is. Doug Scott, one of the leading scorers in the Atlantic Coast League, as long, along with Marcelo Slee. So two of the top scorers in the ACL we're seeing here tonight. The AC school committeeman Dave McCarthy here at the game. Dave uh, makes it to a lot of events in the system, but I know he's very... Uh, particular about his Quincy High basketball. <laughs> his uh, son Colin plays for the Presidents. Dave was a basketball player in his day. He played over at BC High and uh, his nickname in basketball circles was Hacksaw. <laughs> and I'll say nothing more than that. It's a true story, John. Hacksaw McCarthy, a favorite of Father Hicks, the basketball coach over at BC High. Are underway now here in the second quarter. North Quincy possession. Dennis Martin kicks it off now to Nguyen. To Dellis. Back now to Nguyen. 15 on the shot clock. Nguyen a long three, and it's good. Oh, <laughs> Nguyen comes out with a launch. I'll tell you, Nguyen and Martin are capable of stretching that president defense a bit to open things up a bit for uh, the Red Raiders inside. Andy Boisecott gets nice the two shot. points there. Yeah, Boisecott staying with it after getting his first shot blocked. Dennis Martin loses it into the hands of Thompson. Thompson, no good. Boisecott with a rebound. Doug Scott working against Stragellis. Not get past him. Now take a shot from the top of the key instead. And he, he drains it. Doug Scott does not need much of an opening to take a clean shot for him. Tied at 16. Oh, yeah, you're right. But the other thing is Scott created that opening off his dribble. Dennis Martin's going to shoot the three, and he hits Dennis it. Martin, the three. Right back by Martin. Six points tonight for Martin, both on threes. Doug Scott comes right back and cannot get the circus layup to go in. Taken away right in the way by Kenny Nguyen for the Presidents. Scott slows it down. Passes it off in a little while for John Parry. Parry somehow is going to check back in for Parry. Nice pass uh -huh. there by uh -huh. Nguyen, uh -huh. and he couldn't convert to a cutting Alex Tregellis. Yeah, nice, well-executed play. Tregellis went back door, but they missed the connection. Back come the presidents. Mato stops, takes a shot, no good. Boisecott with the rebound, puts it in. Boy, Boisecott, he's uh, looking like Catherine O'Connell there in terms of his efficiency around the hoop. Yeah, both of them came in and it added a little spark for the team so far. Boise caught down low working against Marcellus Lee. Dennis Martin gets picked up there and goes out of bounds. And I'm going to say it was off the knee of Doug Scott. Marty Bowes coming back. Nice job by Anthony Raditz of coming in and playing some solid defense for the Presidents. Just what they needed. So a timeout okay, called uh, by North Quincy. 30-second timeout by the Red Raiders. Not sure what Coach Barrett saw that concerned him, but he's making a little adjustment on this possession. With 5.30 to go, 
Red Raiders holding on to a one point lead, John. Quincy High School comes in with a record of eight and four, five and three in the league. North Quincy, seven and five, five and three in the league as well, as you mentioned. Both of them fighting it out for second place in the ACL North. Plymouth North is at 11 and two, six and two in the Atlantic Coast League. They stay in the first place. Good crowd on hand here tonight, as there always is for the uh, Quincy North Quincy matchups. And Mike Tucker getting the crowd going as well. Yeah, he does a great job. Um, he really does. I, the volume's a little high from for my uh, taste, but it's working for the gym. Oh, Marcel Slee, great turnaround jumper. Yeah. Doug Scott, crossover dribble, puts up the shot, a little short. Lee comes down with it. Union breaks through the defense over to Tregellis. Tregellis drives in, and that's no good. Jordan Tough Thompson. Tough rebound by Thompson in traffic. Oh, what a play by Martin. Nice quick tip pass. He's going to shoot a long three, Dennis and it's good. Three. Dennis Martin, an NBA range three. So I was talking about John, he has that type of range and that capability. Not afraid to launch them. It was a nice pass by him to keep that ball alive as a tip pass over to Nguyen who then got it back from him. And Martin's gonna get called for the blocking foul. Yeah, Martin does not agree with that one. Had position. Checking Parry back, back in. in. Yep, the John game. Parry checking right, in for Kenny Nguyen. Mono over to Scott. Get quickly double teamed. Mono oh. drives in and no good. Boise caught with the rebound. Up and under is no good. Bowes with a nice rebound. And we're going to have a holding call on Fook Nguyen for the foul. Seven. And that's going to be the seventh foul on North Quincy. Should we have a one on one situation? Yeah, as we said about Marty, he's a great athlete, very nice shooter as well. So watch this form from the foul line. He's watching him warm up. He's got nice shooting form. Six to first. A lot of these boys have played together. There are two leagues that predominate in the city. The Sacred Heart Basketball League that was founded by Mark Janik and uh, Larry Liuzzo up the north end of the city. And then the President's Basketball League. I am less familiar with the founders of that, but both uh, leagues have kids who play um, a lot of basketball and play in both divisions. So. These guys have seen each other in courts all over the city since they were in fourth, fifth grade. Andy Boisecott with a steal down the other end, goes down and picks up the foul on Marcel Slee. He'll go to line for two. That's Lee's second foul. Tell you what, John, this is what happened last year um, with the uh, Raiders president's game. Marcellus Lee could never fully get on track to the game. He's had little spurts here in this one, but now what the Red Raider offense is doing is they're taking the ball down low right at Lee, making him work on D, and he just picked up his second foul. Four minutes left to go in the first half, and another steal there by Boisecott. Paris Amato quickly coming up, and bad pass there over the head of Boisecott. Yeah, and uh, Scott was in the area too. Scott put the brakes on. I thought he was looking for Dougie Scott myself, but either way, the cross-court pass went awry, and it's Red Raider ball with 3.40 to go in this first half. Kenny Nguyen checks back in for the Presidents. Dennis Martin, spin move, and Traveler is called on Martin. Twenty four twenty I score North Quincy on top. Doug Scott working as Tregellis. 
Uses a screen from Boisecott and he hits the shot. Quickly, North Quincy comes back. Dennis Martin's gonna shoot another three. That one's no good. Rebounded by Thompson. Tough rebound by Thompson. Kicks it out to Nguyen. He shoots a three, no good. And Jordan Thompson, again, almost got the rebound because off the hands of Bose. Yep. I'll tell you, Bose and Thompson waging a war down low there. Quite something, watching those two guys go at it. Trellis gets it in. Nguyen and a great layup Nguyen. up and under by Fook Nguyen. Yeah, nice finish by Nguyen. Doug Scott crossover dribble shoots it and good. 26-24, North on top. Trying to get down low to Marcel Sleeve, they cannot, it'll be Quincy Ball. You know, the amazing thing about Scott, John, is that Tregellis is playing exceptional defense. He is absolutely all over him. And Scott is just getting like a hair's breadth opening, but he's sticking the shots. Here you go, you see the matchup. Nice job by uh, our cameraman, Peter Doherty there. Capture that one, Scott misses one. Scott, ah. Scott was trying to get a steal from behind. Instead, he gets a hand on Al Tregellis. That's his second. 26-24 Red Raiders with 2.17 to go here in the half. Over the top, and big block by Bowes on Marcel Slee. Scott comes out. Shoots the ball up, and they're going to call it travel on Scott. Wow. Now, I don't know where they got that one from. I don't know if he uh, held That's, the ball a little bit no, when he would, no, it looked no. like that might nope. could have been, but. That was avoiding a charge call. That's what that was. Nice look by Thompson to Martin, and Martin will get fouled and go to the line for two. And she fell out the 31, and Busicard is second. I'll tell you what, uh, Busicard, I think, has been the story of this half. Uh, you know, beyond the obvious Doug Scott story, we know he's exceptional, but Busicard has just been tough, tough inside, done a great job defensively, and of course we should mention Marty Bowes, who just had that big block, and has been rebounding ferociously as well, but... Bowes and Busicott, although they're not really big guys, Let's they've done a great job. Jordan so Martin makes one of two, and on the second, the rebound goes to Jordan Thompson. He puts it right back up and in for two. 29-24 is our score. Kenny Nguyen kicks it off now to Boisecott. He fakes, goes up for the shot, and good. Nice take to the hoop. Eight points for Boisecott here, and a turnover on the other end will be Quincy Ball. Good see basketball. Got yeah, 1.30 to go here, John. You Kenny see Francis all those folks down Francis there behind Kenny Marty Bowes. This gym is packed. Nowhere to sit. Both entries are uh, really crowded. It's a great night for high school basketball in Quincy, John. Kenny Francis shoots the three. No good. Rebound by Bowes. He puts it back up and in. Oh! Great job oh, by Bowes there. Bose thought he might have got a foul too, but no call. Last than a minute to go in the quarter. Get it down low to Lee. Back to over to Thompson. Nice Jordan look by Thompson. Lee to Jordan Thompson to put it in. Yeah, nice, nice pass by Lee. Showed great poise there. Handled the pressure, dropped down to Lee. 31 28 Red Raiders. Doug Scott drives into the paint, off the glass, no good. Kenny Francis, who's checked back in, cannot get the rebound. Virginia lost the ball quickly, gets it back. 10 second differential between a game clock and shot clock. Nguyen goes baseline, puts it up, and oh, charging foul called on Nguyen. Kenny Nguyen sticks in there and gets the charge. That's his third 
In the ball game, Tim Stewart for Memphis. Nguyen picks up his second, and a smart move by Barrett. He brings uh, his third, I'm sorry. He brings in uh, Stilly, Tim Stilly, to play some defense, get Nguyen out. And Doug Scott's going to hold for the last shot. Ten to go in the quarter. Not only will he hold, I'm going to bet he takes it. Three, two, takes a shot, and no good. And Bose cannot get the shot off. Looked like uh, Alex Miguel might got a little piece of that ball that was shot by Doug Scott. Yeah, you're correct about that, Sean. Great defense by Tregellis. He has uh, really worked hard all half, and uh, they're going to have to pump Gatorade and something else into him at halftime here because he's fully gassed. All right, well, at the half, North Quincy has a three-point lead, 31 to 28. Jim and I will take a timeout and be back with second half coverage after this. Welcome back everyone to the Monroe McLean Gymnasium. We're at the half, North Quincy's on top by a score of 31 to 28. Real quick, we'll run down the scoring. First for the North Quincy High School Red Raiders, Dennis Martin had 10 points, Fook Newingen had seven, Marcel Slee had eight, and Jordan Thompson had six. For Quincy High School, Doug Scott led all scorers with 15, Andy Boisicard had eight, Martin Bowes had three, and John Perry had two. So a three-point lead for North Quincy, Jim. And uh, we had a couple of um, interesting players come in. Indy Boisikoff played big for North uh, for Quincy High School. And Dennis Martin played well for North Quincy High School on both sides. Yeah, you're correct. And um, I'd love it if uh, both Peter Doherty and uh, whoever's operating in the truck would cooperate a little more and <laughs> take a shot of the benches or something. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that greatly. Um, when we're talking about the game, we needed to see Marcellus Lee for North establish himself down low. And, you know, we somewhat did. A bit of a surprise story for the Red Raiders was what they did on the perimeter offensively. As you said, Dennis Martin with 10 points and Nguyen with uh, 7. So 17 of the points came from the perimeter a little unexpectedly. Nice balance by the Red Raiders, John. All right, Doug Scott comes out, shoots the three, and it's good. We're tied at 31. And as for Scott, all you can say is we have the uh, privilege of watching a really exceptional basketball player. One of the things about high school is a young man with talents like Doug, they come along really, and it's just a real pleasure to watch them play. All right, they called that one a two. One official had a three, and the other one corrected him. It was a two, so scores 31 to 30. John Clifford into the game for the first time here tonight for North Quincy. Gets it down, Marcellus Lee. And Marty Bose going to get called for the foul. I'll tell you what, Clifford is a super athlete, and I bet you he's in to give Alex Regellis a little bit of a break. Nguyen with the three fouls. We may see uh, Sean Clifford on Doug Scott for a while. Clifford is a terrific athlete. Uh, he's a soccer player, and he plays basketball, and he's a real solid Fundamental guy, he's the one who dropped it in low to Lee there. The nice look inside. Lee sticks one of the two, and uh, the Red Raiders have the two-point edge. And Scott brings it up, uses a screen from Boisicott. Takes a shot, no good, off the back iron, rebounded by Paris Amato. Perry gets it to Bowes, give and go now to Scott, and he can't get it in off the glass. He takes it right back, though, away from Marcellus Lee. Scott gives it off to Amato, and he's going to get the foul. Sean Clifford will get called for his first. Yeah, really hectic pace there. A couple little mistakes. Presidents have come out of the locker room a lot more fired up and alert here, John, than the Red Raiders. The Red Raiders were a little lethargic coming out of the locker room. Um, that time, Lee made a mistake with the ball, and then... Sean Clifford got caught on the pass down low, so. 
Two right. missed foul shots. Amato there. misses both, but it goes into the hands of Scott. He goes up and he draws the foul. So the presence will go to the line for two more. What country foul number 45, Pat O'Neill. That is his second team second. Doug Scott at the line shooting two. And so Doug Scott at the line. Good. And his first is good. Yeah, Scott does everything well on a basketball court. One of them is foul shooting. If you watch him, he's just balanced. His feet are balanced. He's got great form. Does exactly what you want to see a boy do. Well, you want to see a player do shooting a basketball. 32-32. All right, 32-32 in the third quarter now. Dennis Martin drives into the paint. Floater, no good. Taken down by Bose. Now up quickly to Amato. And Amato's going to get draw the... Or wow, get great the foul. job by Tregellis. I was about to say great job by the presidents of pushing it up the floor. Bose with the rebound, the quick out. Amato picking up the foul, however. But uh, that was a super job by Tregellis of getting position and holding the position to pick up the charge. That was Amato's third foul here tonight. Dennis Martin, turnaround jumper, and cannot get the fall. And Amato comes up with the rebound. Clifford trying to pressure a little bit. Doug Scott working against Trigellis, kicks it out now to Parry for three. In and out, no good. Quickly up now to Dennis Martin. Nice defense by Amato to hold him off. Martin down low to Marcel Slee into the paint, and he puts it up for an easy two. I'll tell you, that's there for the Red Raiders. They gotta keep banging away at that. They just set it up nicely from the wing, and it's just the way uh, Lee is, he's physically imposing. There's nothing the Red Raiders, or rather the uh, Presidents can do about him when the uh, Raider offense chooses to get down low like that, and they've got it going again here. We go over the top to Lee, and again Great he goes right in for inside. two. Great pass by Dennis Martin. Super no look pass. Lee did a great job of getting position. The first time John um, Rasikot covered from behind Lee. The second time uh, Rasikot tried to front Lee, so Lee walked him out a little bit. Then he established position, and Martin gave a beautiful floater pass. Great entry. Lee caught the ball, went right in for the easy layup. So Lee with two little bunnies down low, and that's there. So see if the Red Raiders don't keep going at it. And we'll see what adjustment Coach Fisher makes defensively here. All right, cheerleaders and some of the fan club over there trying to get the uh, Quincy High fans up and going. 36-32 is our score. 5.22 left to go in the third quarter. Yeah, Mike Tucker does a great job of working with the crowd there. That time he shut down his music while the uh, kids did a cheer. And as soon as they completed it, Mr. Tucker right back to work. Here come the Red Raiders. It's gonna be O'Neill, Lee, Clifford, Martin, and Tregellis. And for the presidents, we've got Bose, Rasikot, Scott, Perry, and Amato. Scott working against Tregellis. Kicks it off now to Amato. Amato shoots the three. No good, but he gets fouled. Dennis Martin fouled him, so going to the line will be Amato for three. Martin kind of standing there with his palms up. What did I do look on his face? But No, oh, it's funny, I saw Amato just fooling with his pants there when he was, uh, he never got quite got comfortable at the line for that first shot and missed that. Misses the second. He's 0 for 4 this quarter from the line. That's a uh, little bit of a surprise and I'm sure a disappointment for him because Amato's a good little foul shooter and he's 0 for the quarter right now. He's got been to the line five times, missed all five. That's disappointing for him, I'm sure. 
Right, long rebound went out of bounds. Will remain Quincy ball. So they get the ball right back. Doug Scott, tough jumper, and he hits it. There's really nothing you can do about that shot. He stops on a dime. He elevates perfectly and then buries that jumper. Great job by Doug Scott. Clifford looking inside. Nothing there. He gets it back out. President's going to a 3-2 to combat Marcellus Lee, and they're packing it, too. Interesting. They're making the Red Raiders think about taking a long shot. Five on the shot clock. Matt O'Neill shoots it. No good. Rebounded by Bose. So the adjustment Coach Fisher made is a packed in 3-2. And nice rebound by Bose there to keep the ball alive. Scott gives up to Amato. Amato drives in, tough layup, and can't get it to go in. Marcellus Lee with the rebound. Down low to O'Neal. Turnaround jumper for O'Neal is no good. Looked like he might have gotten a foul, but it was no call. Perry will shoot the three now. That's an air ball. Saved by Boisecott. And he kicks it back up now to Amato. Amato drives in and blocked by Martin. Sean Clifford has it. Back over to Martin. Martin drives in and no good. Boisecott nice with the rebound. Nice job by Boisecott in traffic. He's been everywhere here tonight. Both teams cannot get shots to fall right now. 36-34, North on top. Yeah, this is a 3-2. We'll see how the uh, Red Raiders react to it. Trigellis, crossover. Martin shoots the three, and it's no good. Another rebound for Boisecott. Martin's first three three-point attempts were all good, and since then he's not been able to hit on one. Doug Scott, he finally hits. And we are now tied at 36. Douglas has all the points for the presidents in this quarter. And he's manufactured most of them. Trigellis slows it down for North Quincy. Gets it into Lee. And the presidents quickly converge on Lee and it's a cause a turnover. Motto right back now on the other end. Nice pass to Bowes and it's in. Nice finish by Bowes. He got the ball a little late. Stayed with it. Great job by Marty Bowes of running his lane and finishing there. And uh, Presidents with their first lead in a while, John. As you said, Bowes got the ball a little late. It was underneath the basket, but he was able to put it in. And right with Marcel Sleek in his face as well. Yeah, Marty has been solid all game for the Presidents. He's a Fisher product in that he doesn't make mistakes. He works hard. He does all the things that a coach would want to see as uh, a player do well. Boxes out, plays solid D, and Marty has not made any mistakes tonight. No turnovers, just a very solid effort. <laughs> the fan, a, a shot of the crowd there, that's uh, up behind the North Quincy bench. Some of the Red Raider fans here in the gymnasium. Got 2.24 to go, it's a two point game, John. Interesting watching the uh, coaches play a little chess out here. Red Raiders banged it in coming out of the locker room to Lee. Trying to establish that interior dominance. Quincy went from the man to man that they've been in most of the season to a packed in 3 2. And the Red Raiders haven't solved it yet. Like to see them bring back Nguyen, he can shoot the ball. Trigellis has to look to, to shoot a little more. They've got to take some perimeter shots to open up this defense. Looks like uh, Busakot's getting a well-deserved rest. And back in for the Presidents, number 25, Kenny Francis. Dennis Martin, bad pass, and Trigellis is able to keep it, though, for the Red Raiders. Shot there is good by Sean Clifford. That's a three. Yep, there you go. That's what they need. Clifford can do that. Shot there and another tough shot by Duck Scott falling away, but he hits it. Yeah, Tregella's starting to wear down a little bit. They may want to make an adjustment and put Clifford on Scott because 
Uh, Sean is the type of athlete who can step up there. We go over the top to Lee. It's blocked by Francis. But yeah, Francis will get called for the foul. Down low there, Tregellis and uh, Lee. 2 3. They hit, uh, no. Got it on 33, it looks 33, like. 33, Barry, yeah. okay. Um, that time there was a little confusion down low. Lee and uh, Tregellis were in the same area on the ball. Lee short with the first. 134 left to go in the third quarter. Quincy on top by one. And now we're tied as Lee hits the second. Tied at 40. Doug Scott's gonna shoot the three. No good, long rebound into the hands of Marty Bowes. Nice look down low to Francis and it's taken away by Tregellis. Nice steal, he doesn't quite have the numbers but he makes the move anyway. Gonna call it outside on Amato, or number five, I'm sorry, that's not Amato, that's Kenny Nguyen. Lee was trying to get it right back to Tregellis over the top. Tregellis yeah, could not handle there. it. They missed the connection. Doug Scott trying to go coast to coast, and he'll draw the foul instead. Well, Quincy fell on the three. Dennis Martin, that is his third, team's fourth. Doug Scott on the line, shooting two. Doug Scott at the line for two, and he hits the first. <laughs> hits both. Doug Scott, six for six from the line here tonight, and gives the Presidents a two-point lead, 42-40, with one minute to go in the quarter. Just a minute to go in the quarter. Pass to Metro Gellis gets tipped out of bounds by Marty Bowes. And remain oh, Red Raider ball. Also point out that in this third quarter, John, Quincy has scored 14 points, 12 by Scott. And of those 12, 10 of them have been manufactured. He's just been phenomenal. Sean Clifford trying to get down to the low to lead. Nice defense by the Presidents. Matt O'Neill at the foul line, shoots it, and it's good. Nice job by O'Neill. Those are some of the looks the Red Raiders need to get here. Extend that uh, president defense. They can't let them pack it in. Doug Scott takes a shot, no good. Rebounded by Lee. We've got 25 on the game clock and 23 on the shot clock, so. And here with the ball for the Raiders. Thought about the shot and holds up. Dennis Martin now has it. Drives in, tough shot, and no good. Doug Scott will get called for the foul. Puts the foul on number 11, Doug Scott. Scott's third. third. Team's fifth, Dennis Martin at the line, shooting two. The uh, Red Raiders have the ball now. They uh, Red, uh, rather the presidents are gonna be on offense here. That's why they're not taking Scott out. Um, Red Raiders are shooting foul shots. Same situation last quarter. Fisher substitute. Actually, he's going to substitute for him. Going to get him out. There's 13 seconds left. Presidents uh, will have a final shot here in the quarter. All right, Martin at the line. Hit the first and hits both. So North takes a two-point lead. Amato has it. Presidents will hold for the last shot. Seven on the clock. Now five. Amato takes a shot. No good. The ball's still loose, and no shot will be able to get off. So 44 to 42 is the score at the end of the third quarter. We're uh, packed in here. I'm trying to work with the fans in the area around me, but. What are we going to see here? I guess we're going to see some President's fans here.
Peter can't keep up with these guys. <laughs> a performance keeping the crowd entertained here you got it in a tight ball game the red raiders clinging to a two-point lead with eight minutes to go here john should be quite a battle in this final quarter that third quarter for the presidents doug scott was the story at 12 points marty bowes contributed two for the red raiders uh, Marcellus Lee had four points early on, but then did not score. And after that, it was kind of balanced scoring with Clifford, Martin, and O'Neill. Nice job by Bowes of swatting the ball away from Marcellus Lee, or he would have had an easy follow-up. Doug Scott, as you said, 12 in that last quarter, 27 overall. Marcellus Lee around the rim and in, gets it to fall. Yeah, nice no-look pass there, look away by Tregellis. And um, Lee did a nice job of burying the little bunny layup. Down the other end, it was a nice outlet pass to Doug Scott. He goes up, the shot was blocked, but he got fouled by Matt O'Neill, number 45, his third foul. Yeah, O'Neill picks up his third. We haven't seen Nguyen at all in this half. He has uh, been on the bench the entire half now. In a shocking turn of events, Scott buries, well, the first foul shot. You're I, getting ready to say both there, Yeah, Jim. you got it. I was trying to time that beautifully, but instead I hexed the poor young man. Headed out to O'Neill, and you can tell that the talk at the uh, end of the period Coach Barrett was bang the ball inside because they've given up two shots now in uh, trying to look inside. Martin with a nice dribble penetration. So Coach Barrett told them that we gotta take this collapsing defense away from the presidents. Bowes now back to Scott. Bowes shoots the three, no good. And Lee with the rebound. 48-43, North on top. Martin over the top now, and nice defense from behind by Bose, trying to save them, but stepped out of bounds. Yeah, nice job by Marty of coming over from the weak side behind Lee. This is what Quincy did uh, last year to Lee as well. They fronted him and then got some weak side help over. Well, North Quincy's got to react to that better than they did uh, in last year's game couple of easy ways to adjust to it. We'll see if North makes the adjustments. As you can tell, the goal is to bang the ball into Lee. And um, the presidents know that. They're trying to adapt. Sean Clifford misses the first. Last foul was on Marty Bowes. That's his second. Quincy, 16 fouls. North has five team fouls. Good. Bo, uh, rather, Clifford's been very solid this second half for the Red Raiders. He's played the entire half and done a great job. Shot there is no good. Fight for the rebound. And let's see what they say. It's going to go off Paris Amato. It will be North Ball. All right, Quincy's going to come with some pressure Quincy. here. Looks like it's going to be man-to-man -man full court pressure. Well, no, nope, just man-to-man. -man. Not really pressing the ball too much here. Tregellis gets it over to O'Neill. Dennis Martin with the ball, 10 on the shot clock. Tregellis has it. 
Now five on the shot clock. Gales drive in, goes into the paint, and can't get the fall. Rebounded by Lee, and he puts it up and in. Mono up to Perry. Perry wasn't prepared for it, was able to get it though. John North Quincy has quietly stretched itself out to an eight point lead here. All of it coming inside in this fourth quarter. They've just been banging, banging, banging inside. You recall the Martin dribble penetration and Lee's got two hoops both inside. So North Quincy trying to push that interior dominance and in doing so in this fourth period, they've developed an eight point lead. Lee, 18 points here tonight. Doug Scott blocked from behind by Martin. Gellis gets over now to O'Neal. O'Neal bounce pass into Martin. Nice pass to Lee, and he gets fouled as he goes up for the shot. Nice ball moving there by the Red Raiders. Yep. Um, North Quincy has got Lee planted on the weak side down low. They're working the ball on the other side and they're trying to get some offense to Lee off the rebound of that little weak side pass there. So Coach Fisher getting a timeout, try and tell the boys what's going on defensively here so they can make some adjustments because we're at a key point in the game, John. North eight point lead with Lee going to the line. And there's uh, 5.20 to go, so this is a point in the game where Quincy cannot let this thing get away. Good timeout by Fisher. Let's see if the boys can make the adjustments on the court. Yeah, since the beginning of the fourth quarter, North has gone on a 7-1 to -one run, and they have a chance to extend that lead as well, going to the line for two shots will be Marcellus Lee. That last foul by Quincy was their seventh team foul, so next fouls for North Quincy, they'll be going to the line for a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yeah, and that'll be a factor again as well because um, Quincy relies heavily on his pressure defense. And uh, when you're in the penalty situation and you're down, it makes it very difficult for you. Quincy will uh, be able to stop the clock if they can get it to three or four with North being in the bonus. But if North hits its foul shots, then uh, Quincy's gonna have some problems here. I see Lee going to the line a little early. Talking to O'Neill, you don't want him to ice himself here, but John, if they can be uh, sticking their foul shots, and we'll see what happens, they're gonna have some opportunities here, then North can, contr can control their fate. They're up eight in the bonus. Lee is two for four from the line here tonight. Now it goes in and out. One for two for Lee. Lead is nine. Amato with the ball. And bad pass there, but Boisicott's able to hold it. And Quincy's gonna catch a break there. Goes off North Quincy. A little sloppy play by the presence on that last uh, sequence there. Nice job by Clifford. <laughs> Defensively, I mentioned he's quite an athlete and uh, he swiped the ball away off the ankle of Bosicott, so. Red Raider ball, penetration by Martin and the finish. That's a big coup. We're in double digits for the first time tonight. Fisher knows that was a big, big hoop. He gets a timeout right away. Calling a 30 second. He just doesn't want this game to get away from the president's shot. Going to tell the boys they, this is a key offensive set here. Dennis Martin on that last drive went into the paint, faked right, went left, and went up with the left hand and put it in. So as you said, an 11 point lead for North Quincy, 54 to 43. A 10 to one run to start the third, fourth quarter. If you're interested when this game will be replayed on Quincy Access TV, log on to our website at www.qatv.org for our program schedules, membership information, and more. So again, www.qatv.org. 
John, I might quickly mention the staffs here, the coaches who are on the floor. For Quincy High School, head coach Bob Fisher, assisted by Dave Perry, the JV coach, Jim Quigley, the freshman coach, and he's got two volunteer assistants, Kevin O'Connell and Parker Scott. We'll catch the Red Raiders at the next break. Armado with the ball over to Scott. Scott shoots the three from the corner. No good. Rebounded by Boisicott. He puts it up, and it falls in. Nice job. Andy Boisicott continues his big contribution here. Pressure by the presidents over to Tregellis. He passes it off to O'Neal. O'Neal falling down in the paint. Can't get it to fall. Lee, they had to clean it up and put it in. Yeah, nothing they could do about that one. Lee had established position. That was not a box out era. Shot there by Mato, no good. Another rebound by Dennis Martin. He's quickly gonna push it up, looking down for Lee. And oh, consider that a touchdown Lee. pass. Martin to Lee, we saw that during the football season, Jim. You're right about that, John. Great heads up play by Martin. Dougie and there's Scott. Dougie Scott. President's Clarin to stay in this one. They're down 11 with four minutes to go. Raiders do a nice job of handling the pressure. Martin pass gets tipped away into the hands of Lee and he finishes up once again. John Perry with the ball, hands it off now to Marty Bowes. Paris Amato fakes the three, he's going to walk in a couple steps, shoots the two, and it's good. That's nice Amato's job. first two points of the game tonight, Jim. Lead is still 11. Oh, great back to a cut by O'Neill. Super feed by Clifford. Real alert play by the seniors. Right now, it's five seniors out there for North Quincy, and they're getting it done for the Red Raiders. The lead is at 13 with 310 to go. Amato, a nice dribble penetration. He's going to go to the line. Ball number 45, Matt O'Neill is fourth. Matt O'Neill gets called for his fourth foul, Jim. Right now, John, the uh, seniors out there on the floor. Tregellis, Clifford. Clifford's going out. There's a big round of applause for Sean. What a contribution he made tonight. Nguyen back in. So you've got four senior guards for the Red Raiders who really did a great job tonight. Nguyen, Tregellis, Martin, and Clifford. They've shown great poise. Nice job by Amato. And um, handled the president defensive pressure very well. Gets up to Dennis Martin. Martin drives in, blocked by Kenny Francis. Loose ball into the hands of Doug Scott. He gets up to Amato. Amato's gonna try to go in for two, and he does. Nice finger roll for Amato. He quickly now has five points. Yeah, nice job by uh, Scott of getting the ball up to him. Fook Newing in, passes it off now to Dennis Martin. Martin, bad pass, looking for a lead. Goes out of bounds. 10-point lead with 2.36 to go. This is a big possession. Scott wants the ball. Harry driving in. Hands off to Francis. And it's taken away by Marcellus Lee. North gets a timeout here. Uh, Coach Barrett's going to talk to the boys about the clock. They're up 10, 2.30 to go. And I'm sure Coach Barrett got that timeout to make sure they're aware of the clock. And we'll just mention, Barrett got the timeout. Um, he's the head coach, Kevin Barrett. On the bench with him, JV coach Bob Evans. Bob is a terrific coach. You see him standing off to the right. He's involved with Sacred Heart Basketball and uh, has done a great job uh, in coaching circles for a lot of years now. And was lucky to have him. The freshman coach is Kevin Holler and a graduate of the program. And they're assisted over there by manager Joe Ruscio. Joe's the name we talk about during football as well. He's uh, always there for the Red Raider right, athletic the program. Party, so with 2.23 to go, big possession here for the Red Raiders. They're up 10. They want to work the clock a bit. There's uh, 27 seconds on the uh, 
30 second clock so they can get this down to around two minutes. I'm sure Coach Fisher reminded the presidents, we get number 11 out there, let's get the ball in his hands offensively. Scott really wanted the ball that last possession and didn't get it. Our presidents come out with Kenny Nguyen, Paris Amato, Doug Scott, Anthony Raditz, and Kenny Francis. For North Quincy, it's Marcelo Slee, Dennis Martin, Matt O'Neill, Fook Nguyen, and Alex Tregellis. Presidents need a stop here, John. Dennis Martin with it, taken away from nice behind. by Scott. Scott's going to go up. And pressure there from Martin. Cannot convert. Kenny Francis cannot convert. Anthony Raz comes up with it. And now Dennis Martin's going to slow it down. And he's going to get fouled. Pick a player there between Amato and Scott. And yeah, Dougie Scott went in for that layup and was looking to create some contact as well. He was trying to manufacture a three-point play and as a result he lost track of the backboard a little bit there and then there was some ferocious rebounding action and the result of it all is that Martin ended up getting fouled so Martin's at, at the line shooting a one-on-one. -one. Quincy looked like they had an easy two points but again Dennis Martin hustled back and made Doug Scott think of where he was going to be. Martin's first is good. And this is the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. Leads back to 11. That little double-digit thing is a big factor mentally, John. When she had a shot to get it out of double digits to eight, lost that opportunity. And now, as a result, Martin stretches it to 12. Doug Scott with the ball. Top of the key, and it is good. Doug Only a Scott. two point, though. Two points for Doug Scott. Yeah, he was right at the line. Got the home court roll as well there on the rim. And Kenny Nguyen will get called for the foul on Alex Tregellis. There's 142 left, but I suspect this 142 is probably going to take us four or five minutes. <laughs> um, I think that uh, the presidents the are going to force the Red Raiders to make foul shots. There's a shot of a somewhat frustrated Coach Fisher. He knows now that the team's in trouble because if the Red Raiders make these foul shots, well, Tregellis missed the first, so. A little confusion there between Francis and Scott, and the ball goes out of bounds, and it'll be North Ball, so a big turnover there for Quincy, gives it right back to North. Get it down to Marcelo Salih, nice job there. He pinned off Kenny Francis and puts it in for two. Amato back over to Nguyen. Back now to Amato, Amato drives into the paint, puts it up, cannot go. Rebounded by O'Neill for North Quincy. Great job by both Tregellis and Fook Nguyen to get to the outlet areas there, giving O'Neill somewhere to get rid of the ball. Fook Nguyen does a nice job over now to Dennis Martin. North working the clock. One minute left to go in the game. Martin drives in, no good. Lee with a big rebound. He puts it back up. That's no good. Ball goes out of bounds. Remain North ball. 66 well, to 54, excuse me, Jim. Yeah, no, excuse me. With 52 seconds left, uh -huh. Fisher getting a timeout. It's a 12 point lead, and uh, the story of this game is the presidents could not come up with a solution for Marcellus Lee. Lee in the second half, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 17 points. So a big, big second half for Lee. 17 of the 25 points that the Red Raiders have scored here go to Lee. Uh, and, and he's been very, very effective down low. So 66-54 with 52 seconds left. North Quincy looking for their fourth win in a row. Past three games, they were home against Sandwich and came out with a 58-53 overtime victory. At Plymouth South, they won 59-50, and against Dennis Yarmouth on a blowout victory, 56-33.
North Quincy actually 2-0 and in overtime this year. They beat Marshfield at Marshfield in overtime, 64-56, to and again, that victory against Sandwich at home. Yeah, and with this win, the Red Raiders will take over sole possession of second place in the Atlantic Coast North. Presidents will be in third. North Quincy has to go all the way up to center court, fight for the ball, and a foul is called. They call, call that one on Scott. That'll be his fourth. Tell you what, I'd, I'd like to talk a minute while Martin is shooting about Doug Scott. Um, Martin's going to be shooting too, correct? Yeah. Yep. Scott was just absolutely phenomenal tonight. Alex Jagelis did a uh, terrific job of defending Scott. He was denying him the ball. He was pressuring him when he had the ball. And Scott just created opportunity after opportunity for himself off the dribble uh, with some really relentless offensive pressure. It was a terrific individual effort by Dougie Scott. So we have to tip our hat to the junior president there. And uh, Dennis Martin misses the second. Kenny Newingen has the ball. Up down to Scott. Shot there by Scott is no good. Rebounded by Lee. And he's going to go to the line for two more shots. Foul there by number 44, Adam Jean, excuse me, Adam Jean Baptiste, who just checked in. Yeah, Adam Jean Baptiste, a junior 6 2 forward, seeing his first action. He got right in there and mixed it up with Lee. So Lee's going to go out with a bang here. Let's tally his. Uh, I neglected to talk about him here, and we'll talk about him in the final few seconds. Marcellus Lee was awesome inside in the second half. The game was close in the first half. North Quincy extended its lead, and it's going to be up 15 here after this shot. And it was because of the Marcel Marcellus Lee show here at the end. He's got uh, 19, I show him with 19 points in the second half, 13 in the final quarter. And that was really the story of the game. Terrific performance. All right, Doug Scott just checked out of the ball game. So that's going to wrap up his night. Kenny Newingen dishes it off to Andrew Papil, who's checked in. Newingen's going to shoot the three, no good. Fight for the rebound over there is number 14 for Quincy High School. RJ Barden checks in for North Quincy. Tim Stilly will check in as well. Also in Chang Zhang for North Quincy. Nice job by Nguyen. He's just going to run out the clock here. RJ Barden mixing it up a little bit inside with Adam Jean Baptiste. Adam came in and he's been banging everybody. And uh, they they call RJ for the foul. That's the ball game, the final score the Raiders So 69, well, it, yep, 69 to 54 is our final. North Quincy comes out. They had a two point lead, Jim, at the end of the third quarter, and it was all Red Raiders in the final half. Yeah, and as we said at the beginning of the game, the question was whether Marcellus Lee could establish himself inside, and boy, he did that. Did just a super job of uh, down low, burying layup after layup, and uh, the president simply couldn't find an answer for it. At a certain point, they went to a 3-2 defense and uh, packed it in, but Red Raiders kept working and were eventually able to solve that puzzle. So, big win for the Red Raiders. They take over second place, and Tuesday night, John, they're gonna be playing Whitman Hansen and what will be a big game. That game is gonna be let me take a look at the schedule. Um, they've got Whitman Hansen away. Big game for North Quincy. So 
they can win that game, they'll be right back in the race for the ACL. So good job by North Quincy tonight. Yeah, and, uh, Quincy High School has a bigger game next Friday as well at Plymouth North, who's in first place in the ACL North. So two big games for both teams coming up. Real quick, we'll run down the scoring for North Quincy, leading the way with 29 points was Marcelo Slee. Dennis Martin had 19. Fook Nguyen had seven. Sean Clifford had four. Matt O'Neill had four. And Jordan Thompson had six points as well. For Quincy High School, Doug Scott led everyone with 32 points. Andy Boisicott had 10. Paris Amato had five. Marty Bowes had five. And John Perry rounds out the scoring with two points. So again, 69 to 54 is our final. North Quincy improves to eight and five, six and three in the league. North uh, Quincy High School is going to drop to eight and five, five and four in the league. So we want to thank real quick our crew here tonight, Jim, who did a great job. Peter Doherty and Peter Coletter on camera, Chris Potter on graphics and audio, and our director tonight, George Capadonna, our executive producer, Elizabeth Campbell. And I believe Bill Early was here handling the Snickers bar supply <laughs> for the table. So. All right, well, again, we want to thank everyone for watching this edition of QATV Sports with Jim Timmons. My name is Jonathan Clary. We'll see you next time.